just uh, heard from the National Weather Service. I was just like, I was done with all the weather. Montgomery County. Even though pretty much all of Montgomery County is dry at the moment, the line of uh, severe weather, uh, these severe storms have not uh, increased in intensity any as they move through western Kentucky and now moving into the uh, northern part of Middle Tennessee. So Stewart County. Still got the severe thunderstorm warning now. Montgomery County. Yeah, uh, the severe thunderstorm warning has been issued for you. Hopkins. Is that uh, 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 Experienced the uh, heaviest rain. We're flying a lot of the clouds and flying to jump on the plate. My finger is here, by the way. That air bottom. Once again, uh, it's still. Got about 100 foot of it from here. Uh, uh, all the way from the uh, 24 Vinny Round Junction. Dump partners and all dump. One of you only do. But as the fly gets closer, we're going to get on the Vinny Round over the next few minutes. Uh, it would be a good idea to just go ahead and uh, possibly find a place where you can exit and just wait out the storm because this is some heavy rain well, and because of that we do have a flood warning that is in effect so uh, this is really putting down, down some heavy rain and yeah. not a whole lot of time. Well, I, I don't think it would rather be a nice day. I think it would rather be a nice day. I think it would rather be a nice day. I think it would rather be a nice day. I think it would rather be a nice day. I think it would rather be a nice day. Or South Valley, if you're going around the yeah, okay. you're going to see some, some heavier rain. And Betty Royal Parkway is uh, getting what ready to be inundated. The uh, stretch that runs from Christian County, as Fletch said. So uh, if you if you plan down traffic, you save yourself some heartache because uh, I, I would think this is kind of rain Fletch might go over. Yeah, this is, the, uh, this is going to be heavier rain than what your windshield wipers on high will be able to do. Uh, 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 real quick. Real quick. Real quick. Uh, because of just the heavy rain that fell in a very, very short time period, we are dealing with flash flood warnings for uh, parts of Marshall County, Graves County, all of Calvary County has got...
BigTractorPower.com is out following the 2016 wheat harvest in western Kentucky. We're out in a 1,000 acre wheat field. We've just had a major thunderstorm roll through and one of the farms we follow is running eight John Deere S690 combines, four John Deere 9420R four-wheel drives with 1,100 Kinsey grain carts on them. Because of the storm, the harvest has stopped, but it's a great opportunity to look at all this massive equipment together. There's also a Kloss Lexian 760 TT TerraTrack combine uh, out here in the field. So there's a total of nine combines running 45 foot McDon heads. As you can see, it's a very large field. Wheat this year has been averaging around 85, 90 bushels. Because this is such a large crew in a large field, very rarely do all eight machines get lined up together. Uh, when they're out working, usually they're in groups of two or four, uh, working on different sections of the field. The storm was pretty heavy, so you can see it created a lot of mud as the grain carts worked on load. But one of the great things about the uh, Lexian is the terror track system. It uh, was floating right, right over the wheat, not matting it down or bringing up mud. Here's the farm's fleet of eight combines. This is a family-owned farm. They run a lot of machines to cover 10,000 acres of wheat, which is followed by double crop beans. So that's why they run so many combines to harvest as quickly as possible. They're S690 John Deere's. The speed of the harvest determines the yield of the beans. The, there's also one of the 360 foot air drills the farm runs out here in the field. Each combine is numbered. That way when it needs to be serviced or worked on, they know which machine and corresponding header is being used. This is combine number four in the fleet. Here's combine number seven. The McDonald draper heads do a great job harvesting wheat and also the double crop beans which are harvested in late October. These are FD75D heads. Here's combine number three. Combine number eight. Just having the machines parked with 45 foot heads really spreads them out. Here's combine number six. The grain carts are all lined up here with an additional three combines. The grain cart is an essential part of this operation. 
each of these combines are 400 bushels but the carts are over 1,000 bushels so they help keep the combines running at all times keep the trucks running from here in the field to the farm the farm uses these John Deere 9420Rs for the grain carts these tractors also run 24 row corn planters in the spring also run anhydrous bars ahead of the planters and then run rippers after the harvest they run 915 V rippers Here is combine number one in the fleet. You can see all the other machines that we've just looked at. Each of these tractors and five of the combines are 2016 models and then an additional three combines are 2015 that were carried over from last year. The farm runs eight combines in wheat and then five combines to corn and soybeans. There's over 10,000 acres of corn to be harvested and then all this wheat ground will become soybeans. So there will be another 10,000 acres of soybeans to harvest this fall. Here are two more of the S690s. Here's combine number two. And combine number five rounds out the entire fleet of eight that are parked here. Western Kentucky is an area where the south meets the Midwest, so there are large acreages. Uh, we definitely enjoy a big tractor power, the opportunity to film these big machines. Again, these farms are trying to work over a lot of ground. They want to try to ideally harvest or plant everything in you know, a 10 day to two week period. And it takes a lot of equipment to do that. Take a quick look and round out our tour of machines of the air drill. When they're planting double crop soybeans, oftentimes the drills are running right behind the combines and trying to run them out of the fields. Everything has to be planted by July 4th, ideally even before the end of June. This particular farm runs two 9620Rs on 60-foot horse Anderson drills. And they also have a Challenger MT875C on a horse Panther 460 drill, which is a little more updated design of these horse Andersons. We'll have an individual video showing this 9620R just before the rain hits, drilling in the beans, and you can see all eight combines working on opening a new section. But the horse drill does a great job cutting through the residue and no tilling in the soybean seeds.
runs a Horse Anderson 500 cart. You can see there's really very little disturbance from the drill as it passes over the ground and you can watch our Big Tractor Power YouTube channel to see these drills and tractors in action. The 620 horsepower tractors on the farm are used for these big seeders running wishing discs in the fall after corn harvest the corn stalks are dissed under and then run with these drills uh, to plant winter wheat so the crop rotation throughout the season is corn into wheat and then wheat followed immediately by the double crop soybeans bigtractorpower.com hopes that you've enjoyed the tour of all this big equipment parked here after the rainstorm it's taken over 10 minutes just to take a tour of everything parked here in the field. You can visit us at BigTractorPower.com that will link you to over 1,000 YouTube videos that we film and our Facebook page. We'll look forward to bringing you more of these big machines in action.